up everyone, Retro Rewind here, and yes, we are here for a SNES pickup, but not the SNES £50 a month um, mission pickup, a bit of a difference. It's a SNES game, t-shirt's a giveaway. I won this t-shirt uh, last October, last year, October, at Blackpool uh, Expo. Had a game on this game, bit of a giveaway, and I kept meaning to buy it, and then every time I've gone to buy it since, it keeps being sold out. So I've got the e email back in stock. Zeno you know, Crisis, there it is. I did, um, I was going to film an unboxing, but there's no point. Everyone's seen the unboxing, so I'll, I'll put a little video somewhere on here showing just unboxing how it come. But yeah, it's come well packed. It's a nice looking box. It's, um, is what it is. It's a bit like Smash TV. Excuse me. I got, obviously, I got the PAL version because I only collect PAL. Um, me and Ollie, eight bit boy, eight bit boy UK Ollie. Everyone knows her, um, little Ollie. We um, we had a go on this, um, as I said at Expo Blackpool, and we got really far on it. So we uh, got a prize, and I got a nice T-shirt. Uh, it comes with a manual. Got a manual. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, as it's just showed in the uh, little unboxing thing, and it's got all the instructions on the what the buttons do and all that. So I'm going to have a quick read through that before I play it, but. I've got it unloaded, it's on there ready to go. I'm gonna jump on, we're gonna play this together because I really thought that this was the um, the better version to play. For me personally, I know it was on the N64, I think it was the Mega Drive and some and I thought, I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna, no, I'll, I'll get, I thought with this setup, because obviously up, down, left and right, the way you shoot with the buttons was perfect. Obviously like you run around with the D-pad and it was a lot easier to use. It's almost like this game was designed for the Super Nintendo. So I had, I had to get it. I think it's on the Famicom as well. So I thought, do you know what? I've got to get it. I love Smash TV. Completed it on the arcade with um, Ollie 8-Bit Boy UK again. We get about together a bit, don't we? Even though we're nowhere near each other. So I've been really interested in um, getting my own copy and playing it at home like I am now. Um, and see if it is as good as I thought it was when I first had a uh, quick demo game on it at the expo. So, further ado, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to jump in and let's have a little look see at this game. I know I'm late to the party and there's loads of videos probably on YouTube, but I thought I was going to have a play, I might as well film it. Commander Darius, we have a code red distress signal from Outpost 88. Oh, I like how it comes on hard for you straight away. I'm glad I checked. So, so cool looking. Nice try and hang grenade, I think. Oh, that was roll, that was it. Hang grenade's that one, okay, cool. I was just. Oh, yeah, you can shoot diagonal by pressing two buttons at once. Love it. I'm not sure if that's loud enough. I might turn it up in a minute. Thank you. 
Oh, the speech on it, so cool. And I tell you what, it looks good. Oh man. Oh man, and I've got it on easy. Oh, this is cool. You can buy stuff. So I've got 20. Right, okay. Well, just come in at numb nuts. I'm not talking much because I'm just well into this, just concentrating. This is, I love the fact that you can just move your thumb around like that. You can just move your thumb around like that. Awesome. Shoot in any direction while you're running. Oh shit. Didn't realise that thing kept shooting me. Right, well, one more continue then. I didn't notice you could buy some continues.
like a shark snake. I tell you what I'm being using. Enemy hand grenades. Just realise about that. That armor here. Choose me armor wisely. Got that bitch. I like that, like the way you can get your tags and you can upgrade stuff. Tremors, in it, coming out of the ground. Love it. Wow, thick and fast. Shit. Game over, Game over man. Wow, that was cool. So there you go then. That was Xeno Crisis. Obviously, I've got the empty box here to show you because obviously the game's still in. So uh, yeah, there it is. Nice looking box. Love it. Very nice and shiny. Uh, the game. Really, really, really enjoyed that. If I was doing like the choose 10 minute teaser, is it out the window? Is it back on the shelf? It's definitely back over on the Super Nintendo shelf. It's definitely there for another day, another play, because that rhymed. Another day, another play. Um, it's always another day to play. Um, yeah. Oh, for the menu. It's just, I'll tell you what, I had a quick, quick look on my phone just to make sure it recorded, and it looks really good. The picture looks really good on the iPhone, so that's nice that it looks good for you guys at home sat watching this or could be stood up or hanging from your feet from a ceiling. I don't know what you're up to when you watch my videos, but really enjoyed that. I, I enjoyed it the first time when I played with Ollie, really got into it. Love Smash TV, like I said. So this is like a newer version, like a Smash TV too. Um, I hope they don't mind me saying that. It's, it's pretty similar, but the graphics were amazing. Sound effects, music, all mixed in. Really good, really good gameplay. Hard. I saw, you saw as I pressed on the options, it come up already on hard and I changed it to easy. Easy is hard as it is, but getting used to the, um, like I say, when you got the controller, when you got the buttons, obviously it was good that you could press two buttons in any direction to shoot diagonal. And like if you was in the middle of the room, you can literally just roll, rotate your film across and you just start switching. Brilliant. Love the mechanics behind it. Very good mechanics. Really enjoyed it. Definitely, definitely enjoyed it. If I, if I was going to give it a, a score out of 10, I'd give it a 10. I really, it really is a good game and definitely one worth playing. 
Um, if you don't own it, I'd go out and buy it. I really would. Oh, you'd have to go out and buy it. You can sit in your house, get your phone out and buy it online, obviously. You don't go to the shop and buy games these days, do you? But yeah, I would highly recommend it. Now, to be fair, I really would like to um, play it on the um, N64. Maybe I might buy it on the N64. Who knows? Because it'll be interesting with the... Um, I've got an N64 controller just here, actually. So I'm wondering if it, you use those the yellow buttons, the view buttons, if I remember rightly. It's not very often. Often I plan this if I am playing it a while. So I wonder if it's the same thing with the uh you use the yellow buttons because that'd be pretty cool. Um I'm trying to think, I'm just dropping everything off the shelf. Yeah, it might be interesting to play that. The Mega Drive would be interesting because obviously it's three buttons across. Will you need the six uh six button controller? I have got a six button controller. Shall I get off the shelf and show you? Shall I? I don't know. But um yeah, I will. I will. I've got one set up, look. Six button there. So I wonder, I bet you've got to use all six buttons for that then as well. Be interesting. I still think the Super Nintendo um, wins it hands down with the best controller. But yeah, it'd be interesting to play all the versions. Um, I don't. I haven't looked too deep into what other version. I think there's Famicom, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, N64. I'm sure it was something like, was it, N, was it Saturn? I think it might have been Saturn or something like that bit too modern for me that kind of stuff so I, i've just straight zoned in on the super nintendo and yeah i just realized i'm just talking for ages now for no reason you probably already turned off now but yeah highly recommend it definitely worth buying i'm definitely going to get in here and play it again i think one saturday or sunday night get in here and have a play i think i might have to get a get a mate round i might have to hire one i ain't got any friends um and have a two player on it because i think two player would be you know be cool on it so yeah there it goes there is my review of a, a new game for an old system, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's the first new game I bought for an old console, so I might have to have a look to look, see if there's any, blah, blah, see if there's any more out there I can pick up. But yeah, definitely I highly recommend it. Thanks very much for watching. Do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, check out any other videos I do uh, put on my channel. And take care of yourselves, everyone. I'll see you later.